Moving to Africa's ambitions in space. Space technology plays a crucial role in every country's socio-economic development and stability. It looks like Ghana has recognized the importance of that and now wants to capitalize on it. Ghana has officially introduced its national space policy with an aim to harness the power of space technology and leverage it to propel economic growth, enhance national security and ensure sustainable development. The new policy, which was approved by Ghana's cabinet in March of 2022, would also pave the way for the establishment of Ghana Space Agency to coordinate the development of human capital and infrastructure. While launching the policy, the Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Ophelia Hayford, has emphasized that the new policy would address the gaps in its existing space program and that the space technology usage would be well coordinated, standardized, regulated and sustainably managed. But what are the key goals of Ghana's space policy? Now, the first goal is the establishment of Ghana's space agency. The second goal is to boost education and workforce development. The government is aiming to incorporate space science into educational curriculum to build a skilled workforce. And then there is infrastructure development. The government wants to build facilities like ground stations and space research centers. And the final goal is to promote space research and communication. Ghana wants to encourage private sector involvement in its space sector that can foster economic growth and job creation. In addition, the policy also aims to enhance international collaboration with other countries. Now, Ghana intends to increase coordination among different actors. The country has a vast number of ministers and institutions that are employing space science and technology. However, the use of these technologies lacks proper coordination. Ghana also faces several environmental, social and economic challenges, including legal, illegal mining, water pollution and land degradation. Space technology could provide critical solutions to these challenges. And because Ghana is close to the equator and shares a coastline with the Atlantic Ocean, it has a geographical advantage when it comes to launching satellites into space. This added benefit could be fully exploited if the country has its own space policy defined. Now, the latest space policy is not the first step in Ghana's space program. The country's space program has been in existence since 2011. Ghana has been using space technology in many sectors, such as agriculture, energy, environment and security. The country launched its first satellite, called the Ghanasat-1, in 2017, putting it on the list of space-bearing nations. The main aim of the satellite was to take pictures of Ghana's coastal borders and to provide data that can be used to monitor the coastal regions. Since then, the country has also said it would develop and launch Ghanasat-2 and Ghanasat-3. Yet Ghana is not the only country rushing to reach space. Several countries in Africa have been blasting off satellites from Earth and quickly developing their own space programs. Reports suggest that to date, a total of 17 African countries have put more than 60 satellites into orbit, with dozens more African satellites expected to go into orbit in the coming years. Egypt, South Africa, Nigeria, Algeria, Kenya, Morocco, Angola, Zimbabwe, among others, have all launched satellites into space. According to an analysis, African nations budgeted $465.34 million for their space programs in 2024. This was, however, lower than the previous year's revised allocation of $643.13 million. However, Africa's space industry is expected to grow by 16% to nearly $22 billion by the year 2026. With space now being the limit for Ghana, it is yet to be seen how the West African country will support its scientific dreams.